Every year we're probably gonna need a new one of these, so without further ado, here's what your favorite anime of 2021 says about you. Boruto. Honestly, you're strong, okay? Like, you're honestly probably one of the strongest anime fandoms in existence if this is your favorite anime. Because, like, deadass, you supported this anime despite all the filler, all of the hate, all of the constant backlash about how it's never gonna get out of Naruto's shadow. All just so you can get one good episode per year. Nagatoro. You're either a troll who enjoys like bullying people about how Nagatoro is not a black anime character or you're probably one of those people that really needed a romantic comedy this year so you decided to check it out and it became your favorite anime romantic comedy of the year. Tokyo Revengers. Listen, if you're a Tokyo Revengers fan, like a big one, I probably don't trust you because this main character, dead serious, like, he saw all of his friends were getting bullied for years on end and he decided instead of helping them get out of the situation, he decided to leave them and go to another school and be a loser up until he's 25, so now he has the time travel to go and fix everything. Yasuke. For some reason, you believe this anime that was like supposed to be like a historical anime adaption of a really good story, but it turned out to be about mechs and magic and all that. You decided to choose this as your fave anime. Like, at this point, Dead Serious, I, I don't know how this is your fave anime. At this point, just go watch Afro Samurai. Like, it's way better. It's, it's probably even more accurate, if we're being honest. Like, way better than Yasuke. Demon Slayer. You probably got into anime into in the like past two years and you saw the dope animation that Demon Slayer had and because you haven't read the manga yet, this is probably your favorite anime of all time. And you should probably go check out new anime. Eden's Zero. You desperately miss Fairy Tale. Beastars. stars. I'm betting 100% that you're a furry. Like, no doubt about it. Like, that's that's all Beastars fans are. Uzaki Chan. You're down bad. Oops. Basket. You enjoy a lot of anime remakes. Redo of a healer. Now, if you've seen my channel before, you already know I don't have a good relationship with Redo of Healer fans. So, like, if, if Redo of a Healer is actually your favorite anime and you're not trying to troll, go to prison. And and we're throwing away the key, too. Like, I, I can't trust Redo of a Healer fans to be allowed out in public, just allowed to walk around like that. It's... It's not cool. Attack on Titans final season. You enjoyed this adaption despite everyone complaining about how bad it took certain scenes from the manga and didn't like adapt them correctly so Aaron didn't look as cool. And you're in a consistent fan because you still watch this despite everyone telling you how bad the manga ending actually was. Ahiru no Sora. You enjoy a poor man's Kuriko's basketball. Let that sink in. If, if this is your favorite anime, j just go watch Kurikos. They have superpowers. It's an actual shonen. It's way better. 2.43. I, I don't even know how you heard of this because it definitely got overshadowed by the fact that Haikyuu exists. Like, Haikyuu isn't even over yet and you decided to release another volleyball anime. You're brave. Brave. Brave as hell. Dr. Stone. You're binging this anime instead of actually attending your science classes. One Piece. The fact that this anime is still able to make the 2021 list, that's how long it's been going on. If this is your fave, you probably have nothing to do all day if you're able to watch like 21 years plus worth of anime. Like this is over a thousand plus episodes long and you're still able to binge it. I I salute you, okay? Because it takes a lot of dedication for that. Jujutsu Kaisen. Honestly, you probably have one of the best picks on this list and that's why I decided to move this anime all the way down to the bottom. Because, you know, everybody expected me to put Jujutsu Kaisen on here. Record of Ragnarok. You realize the anime isn't actually that bad and you didn't let people on Twitter tell you that it was actually a slideshow and went to watch it for yourself. Because if you look at it, the anime actually has fighting scenes. It was just that one slideshow part. It's not that bad. Thank you, pizza people, for watching. I'm going to make a 2022 What Your Favorite Anime Says About You 2023 and so on. More videos to come Monday and Wednesday, probably. Let me know how you enjoyed this video. My name is Time Pizza, and this has been What Your Favorite Anime Says About You 2021 edition.